Welcome to another Mint Mad Cow video where all the videos are minty fresh. I don't I don't know why I started the video off like that, but I was gonna wake up today, go over my about 250 to 300 clips at Revenant's PKN with my boys and edit you guys a 30 minute plus video or however long it would be. Really, I have no idea. And the first thing I do when I wake up is I check the good old Twitter to see how things are going on RuneScape or stream or if Mammal's got another Inferno cape or some shit. And everyone has been absolutely complaining about Revenants. So <laughs> I go over and I check the hotfix that they have just implemented for Revenants and I read over it and it's, it's hard to go over. I'm gonna go over it in this video, but first I wanna see if Revenants are dead. First day of the hotfix, we're gonna go check that shit out. I'm not gonna PVM, just gonna walk over there butt ass naked. Let's see if people are complaining for an actual reason. I had some PK gear on already, so I thought I'd just try to scare some people if I see any. But don't worry, Deborah, coming right back to you live after we go into the cave of touching. Midday, time is 3.04 p.m. What's gonna be in here? Some, uh, some PVMers already running into the cave. They must have not heard about the hotfix, or maybe it's actually not dead. I have no idea. Here's a naked boy. So first little revenants I check. It looks like a PKer is already chilling here. What what are you doing, bro? Boy? What the fuck? You gonna act up to me? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Almost kill him. So this world is a little dead. Um, I might be I might be taken down here. I, don't, I have no idea. He's, he's scared. He thinks I got a clan. I'm gonna completely balls deep this. They, I'm gonna protect these guys real quick. I'm I'm by myself fanboy so it looks a little dead looks absolutely yeah he's scared he thinks i have a clan <laughs> uh, log in boys log in run away he you want some bruh dude i'll beat look go dragon go get a dash get a dash dragon dude he he doesn't know he's fucking himself right now he doesn't know he's currently literally fucking himself with that dragon oh dragon no way. This is A1 edit shit right here. I just first cave I check into. Alright, let's leave him alone. I'm gonna go check out some other caves here. Run! Yeah, I know! I know, run, motherfucker! I'm, I'm trying to switch worlds. I don't wanna... Same clip, same clip, come on, alright. Let's check another cave. See if anyone's down here. It looks like there's people still PKing. Level 66. Um, some people trying to kill some revenants. It does seem completely... Completely dead, almost. Until you go up here and... No, no, really, I'm not seeing why people are saying it's too dead uh, at the moment. Here's a, here's a scout. I guess uh, I guess it's not as packed as it usually is, but it seems that uh, the revenants have kind of made it so that people aren't killing the smaller ones. Well, except for that fucking guy, he's still killing them. He, he probably doesn't even know, to be honest. A lot of these newbies don't even know that the, the revenants have been absolutely nerfed, the smaller ones have. But it seems to be a lot more people. Let's keep checking. It is midday. Uh, I usually come here at night, so... I don't know. Um, There would be two people in this world. Three people. So, I mean, it's not as packed as it usually is. I, I could say that, but it might be just because it's getting PK'd a lot midday. Um, but it's not dead. It doesn't seem to be dead. It seems seems to be uh, more lively than really any part of the wild still after the hotfix. Uh, but this is only the first day. I'm kind of curious to see if I should do another 10 hours of loot from Revenants. So, uh, we kind of have checked it out. I'm glad I made sure myself, but it seems that Revenants are still a little bit lively. I'm not sure if it's um, as more dead than it used to be after the hotfix, but it seems to be still more lively than any part of the wild. Let's go to the updates RuneScape has put into the Revenants, the hotfix itself, and we're going to read them out and just kind of talk about what it really means, because I'm still trying to get to the bottom of this, too. So, Revenant Caves Hotfix by Mod Ayiza, February 21st, 2018. So, it pretty much just came out right when I woke up, and uh, they just talk about the following changes made to the Revenant Caves. But first they talk about why, because they always got to explain everything before they do something, because they're afraid of the community. Because this is a game run by the community, hopefully, so they're, they're going to be like, this is why we did it. And uh, the reason they say it is because... Uh, they believe the regular person should have been earning 1.4 to 2.04 million GP per hour, and it was not that case at all due to PKers and people wearing uh, better gear. And overall, I don't know how they didn't expect that. Obviously, it's Darwinism out in the wild, survival of the fittest. If you're going to have the money to buy an Elder Maul, you're going to get more money per hour 
But then again, Elder Maul skyrocketed. A lot of items skyrocketed because people wanted to buy the best gear, dragon darts, blowpipes went to 4 mil. So I don't know why they were confused that uh, people weren't making as much as other people. It's pretty much those who uh, have better gear are going to make more money. It's the damn wild. So they base it because they want everyone to be making kind of a similar amount and they want people to still uh, go to Revenants for money. But they um, also heard a ton of complaints. Uh, you guys have been complaining a lot. Not everyone, not you guys, but I'm just talking like the community in general has been complaining a ton about how much money people make per hour at Revenants. Uh, even my chat goes, yeah, no, kill Revenants, or yo, no, it's the only thing that's alive in the wild, keep it alive, that's the reason for it. Feel free to tell me down below if you think this hotfix kind of is fucked or it was reasonable. A lot of people on Twitter are in between that limbo as well, but let's jump down to what they actually changed. So it reads down below here, we want the Revenant Caves to remain profitable, but at least to ensure the reward matches the effort involved and that other methods continue to remain viable. So they don't want other uh, <laughs> other areas in the wild or even outside of the wild to not be less profitable than Revenants. But if you've ever done Revenants, you know it's not the funnest thing to do if you're PVMing and getting slapped every five minutes. So it, you should be rewarded if you keep coming out and you're, you're pretty persistent. In other methods of Moneymaker like Vorkath, once you get good, you just stay there forever. So... I don't know there. So they did remove uh, dwarf multi cannons, which I'm actually a fan of. As an Iron Man, they would always come and slap my imp. But the dwarf multi cannons have been removed from the Revenant caves. That's not too bad. Not everyone was using that, to be honest. But for those who did use cannons, GG. They can be used elsewhere in the cave, though. Of course, each Revenant NPC has a certain percentage chance on rolling. Uh, the normal loot table, you're changing the formula for this percentage chance so that the lower revenant NPCs have a substantially reduced chance of hitting it. That makes that just makes sense to me, but at the same time, I don't know. Uh, we were out there in the wild, and we had Ultimate Iron Man on our team. Uh, Ultimate Iron Man Cole, shout him out because he's, uh, he's a little special in the head. Send him cards. But uh, yeah, he's a horrible Ultimate Iron Man. He is, he is horrible. He was out there in the wildy with us, and he kills an imp and gets... Uh, I think it was the Ancient Relic, the one that was 16 mil. I'll try to find a clip for it. But yeah, he got it from uh, killing one imp. So, I mean, that could just happen. I think it's pretty cool that it could happen, but I could see why they'd want to reduce that so people don't just keep trying to hit that drop table over and over on the small ones because that's what the higher ones are for. So you can get those really nice drops more frequently than the smaller ones. But I guess they reduced that. Also, they also reduced the higher level revenants. Their, their chances of rolling a uh, normal loot table are slight, slightly reduced. And the value of the normal loot table has been slightly reduced, focusing more towards reducing the number of resources being dropped. Uh, and then they give an example. Since they don't really release the drop table, they just give an example. The quantity of items such as Onyx Bolt Tips has been lowered. Which, to be honest, Onyx Bolt Tips were a pretty big drop from Revenants, so I can see why people think that this hotfix would have a huge effect and lower the GP per hour. Uh, Re World 345 Deadman Mode got fucked, but really, it was probably just clans camping there, so... So that's, that's fine. Players holding on to any of the following items have automatically been converted to their corresponding trade-in tomorrow's game update. So I don't know if this is only World 345 because they don't space it out. Uh, but apparently if you had an ancient totem, an ancient statue, any, any of the relics or effigies, they just turned into cash unless you had max cash and they just dropped upon the floor which is kind of fucked up. Uh, but I don't know if that's only in Rule 345 demo mode. I think it is. Sometimes, man, I, I don't get all the information out of these. I have to go to Twitter and see what they actually mean. But overall, it seems like they have uh, lowered the loot chances for a lot of these better drops and then took in some of the drops like Onyx Bolts and reduced them so they don't drop as much of the item. So it is a patch because they don't want that much money getting into the game overall and a lot of people are angry about it some people are okay with it uh, me in general I'm just okay with it as long as uh, revenants aren't dead if they are completely dead then I think it's another fail by Jackx and if they stay alive then you know what so be it I, I could give less of a shit how much money's coming into the game I just want to have a fun place to fuck around and I don't know what do you guys think tell me down below if I missed anything because I feel like I did uh, I missed, I don't know, I missed a bunch. I just woke up, I don't know, this is the only thing they have on their page. You'd have to go to Twitter to know more about it. Uh, they never release the drop tables because they're afraid of items absolutely falling in price once people know about it, which is understandable, but it's also hard to grasp the whole situation unless you do, uh, you go out there and test it yourself. So if you guys want me to do another 10 hour of the new hotfix revenant patch, 
for uh, revenants and just do that for 10 hours, see what drops I get. I don't mind. That is, that is actual, absolute content. I can stream it. All sorts of fun stuff. Uh, I just want to throw out this one idea that I found by Abyss. There's a streamer named Abyss Arrow, and he streams on Twitch.tv. Usually a lot of uh, masses, PKing masses, so he's done a lot of revenants. And he had this idea that he posted on Twitter, and I thought it was really good. Uh, it doesn't really have anything to do with the hot patch, so if you did enjoy the video, uh, feel free to drop a like, subscribe for more. I kind of made this video because you guys really responded well with my other PvP poll patch that I uploaded, or PvP poll video talking about maybe the Gmall might get ripped, all that good stuff. So if you did enjoy this video, uh, drop a like. I would not mind talking about a lot of the future updates coming on in the game. It gives me more videos to upload and something more to do during my downtime while I'm just playing on my Iron Man. So. The idea is single areas in rev caves would be this green arrow coming up here, so nothing would really be changed in this. It would all be multi, but once you hit the entrance, you see the entrance is up top right, uh, up top here, and then on the west area, this, this would all be single. And there would be, instead of Ankus, there would be replaced with three to four revenants where Iron Man could go there, or just people in general could go, and there would be less competition at multi, so there would be an actual area to go two single areas. Now, I think it's a really cool idea because if you are an Iron Man and you get a Revenant's task, you're fucked. And overall, if you want to go and just camp the single area, you can do that and not get absolutely murdered. Also, the best idea, not even just for Iron Man, is that this would add a really big area for a uh, single PvP in Revenant's. A lot of people already PK here, a lot of purists, pure clans, but just imagine a huge single area inside the cave you could run to and start fighting off people I would imagine it might be the new mage bank now obviously it only has 44 likes and I don't think it's really going anywhere but this does seem like a really cool idea so feel free to uh, go find abyss arrow and say retweet this or, or whatever you want to do it's a really sick idea let's just let's just see how the revenants go let's see if it dies let's see if it still is worth going to probably gonna be doing a 10 hour loot from Revenants tonight on stream, maybe all 10 hours, maybe only do 6, and just see how much loot we get. So if you want to come watch that, I will be live 8pm PST, or probably shortly after you watch this video, depending on what time you watch it, uh, twitch.tv slash minty. Remember, I am minty on Twitch now, so feel free to come on over here. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and like always, I will see you in the next episode. I don't know what you want. Let's have